name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Race five, the first leg of jackpot one is an MR84 handicap over a thousand meters. It goes at 10 past two. It's a highly competitive race. Before we discuss the runners' chances, let's hear from Peter Musket and Wayne Bardnold. Valiente, also in very good order. Uh, he's never won on the turf though, um, but he seems to be, his interest seems to be rekindled uh, with the addition of blinkers. Uh, he always tends to lay in quite badly at Scottsville, uh, but he is drawn towards the inner. Um, he, he, he can run in the money. Prince Kresh, um, a little honest twist. I think um, they, his rating was a bit high. I think they've just, yeah, we just got to get him down a little bit lower. And he's honest, he'll run another, another decent race. Um, Muzi, I think he'll get the best out of him. Well, let's kick off with Wayne Bardnell's runner because that is, in fact, my first choice. But having said that, first choice in a very difficult race, uh, not with a lot of confidence. But I do like the chances of Prince Gresh because he loves his track and trip. He's at 11 starts for four wins, two seconds, two thirds. So eight out of 11, he's been in the top three. Number four, Prince Gresh. Uh, Muzien, he's only ridden him once to a runner up berth. But Warren, it's a very, very tough run. What is interesting, a little bit of trivia. Prince Gresh last time out beat Stanley Park. Now, Jermaine Maharaj has tipped number seven, Don Kerrari, to win the race. He hasn't won for 349 days, but he's had one win at this track, and that was when he won his maiden beating Stanley Park sure. a long time ago. Uh, so what it says is that these horses are all hovering around the lower divisions for most of their, if not all of their careers. Yeah, so I'm going to go for Prince Crash to beat Number six, Dan Dolo. I think it's probably a little on the sharp side for Dan Dolo at this time of the year when it's very quick, although he has won twice over a thousand metres. Uh, Don Carrari, healthy respect. Of course, we've got Johan Janssen van Furen in town with number five, Pontiac. I'm not sure whether COVID operator is going to run because he's carded to run at Turfentine on Saturday. Again, we remind you, we record this on Saturday morning. So clearly, if COVID operator runs at Turfentine on Saturday afternoon, he's highly unlikely to be running at Hollywood Bed Scottsville on the Sunday. Chara Sands, you ignored your peril. So it all adds up to a very, very tricky race. And I'll allow you to take us home and tell us what you think is going to win. We'd also have to keep an eye on uh, a tea time tipples run, you know, earlier on because Zayasha has uh, last time uh, this horse ran beat tea time tipples, so that'll be uh, we'll know a lot more about that late, you know, by this time of the day. Pontiac uh, lightly raced, and and if you go back three runs beat, we are the Logans, and we are the Logans ran a fabulous race here on Gold Cup Day, so that keeps me very interested with Pontiac. Uh, Don Carrari absolutely moted home last time after being brushed at the start, not having the cleanest getaway. Uh, but wow, there's, there's, there's I think, two, the way to look at it possibly, Graham, is there's two or three horses that maybe, we can't say can't win, but are, are the outsiders. But as Dee's Dynant always says, well, in a field of this size, if there's two or three only that you don't like, put the field. And I think if you could afford that, well, maybe that's the way to go. But as far as a first choice... Let me go with Pontiac because uh, uh, of that we are the Logans run. So Pontiac from me, for me, uh, healthy respect for Don Carrari. Even Chara Sands got a chance. It's difficult. Yeah, I've got to rethink my strategy. I came here this morning uh, suggesting we include the field in race five because I was going to bank a number one Bevy's Delight in race six and number two Golden Tatiana in race seven. We'll get to those two races. And then you gave me the bad news just before we went on air that number one Bevy's Delight is now a scratching. I was really very strongly in her camp, which is all academic now. So back to race five, we'll get to race six in a moment. My top choice is Prince Crash because of his course and distance form. But like Warren says, there are many with chances here, including at the very least, all of numbers five, Pontiac, six Dandolo, seven Don Carrari, nine Chara Sands. I don't think COVID operator is going to run, but we'll have to wait and see. So that would be the viable shortlist. Uh, but it does look as if it's a race uh, that uh, wherein you should be putting the field if you can afford it. That's race five, race six up next.
It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.